you know, people attacked, excuse me, Chrisette Michelle for her, you know, taking it upon herself and her career and taking that money and singing at the inauguration, whether she wore a Black Lives Matter shirt or whatever the case may be, we, you know, society looks to put us against one another. And a lot of times people are so concentrated on what the media is saying, but let's look, let's look and dig deep. We don't even walk past each other and say, good morning. Say, how you doing? How was your day? Somebody get hurt, that's the first thing that we want to put up. Some people is fighting, that's the first thing we want to put up. We don't congratulate one another. Don't just be a revolutionary. Or don't just take the, the, uh, the black power vibe when, it's, when, it, when, it, when it fits you, when it suits you. You know what I'm saying? We um, downplay her for singing, but then we praise Cardi B and K. Michelle and these people that um, don't do anything to better or to enlighten our culture, but are simply put in the forefront to make themselves money and to lower and diminish who we are as a people. If you listen to what Chrisette Michelle sings on a regular basis, she's nothing but a strong woman that empowers people around her. Nothing but that. She embodies that with all the stress and aggravation that she had to go through, which a lot of people don't even know about her disease or whatever it was that she was dealing with. She still cr crawled out of that hole and became who she is. Let's, let's, let's not downplay her because she went and did something. A lot of people work jobs on a regular basis and have racist boss, you know, segregated office, prejudiced parties within the job. But we go there every single day and deal with it, knowing that that's not what we should be doing. You should say, fuck this job and get up and walk out. But you do what you got to do because you need to pay your bills. What makes you different than her? And I'm not saying that I'm correct for even making this, making this statement, but this is my opinion and I'm allowed to voice it. We need to work more on empowering one another on a daily basis, working on saying hello, good morning, how you doing, instead of being stuck into this media world. It's not social media, it's media. They just putting whatever it is that they want out there to be followed, to, to be little and lower the people who are following it. The urban culture. We have to empower one another, motivate one another, check ourselves, man, myself included. Instead of trying to downplay and look down on people and find ways to diminish somebody's character because it looks cool, because it get followers. Don't be a revolutionary. Don't be a, a black power um, person when it suits you. Love and show that, 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 that love and that support and that uplifting and help shine others crown while they shine your crown and iron shop and iron to make our culture better we are unique strong people let's stop letting the masses weaken us and put us against one another praise that woman for put for her being able to put herself i remember when chrisette michelle was performing at nightingales in manhattan you know what i'm saying with jay hatch and in a circle she was signed the three kings she's going from that day from that point i have her first cd She's going from that point to singing at the inauguration. Praise that queen. Don't enlighten, don't downplay or try to belittle that queen because the masses tell you to. We need to do better and it starts from within. Myself included. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you're feeling blessed. I hope this message reaches you and you're healthy and you're smart and you're feeling righteous. Pass this on. I like to hear some dialogue. True story.